Hi there, this is Nicolette from Code Design, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a custom digital marketing plan for your business using our free digital marketing plan template. So planning is one of the most important steps of any digital marketing strategy before you ever start investing in paid media campaigns or creating content for your website. You want to have a plan and you want this plan to clearly define what are your objectives for the strategy and how is this going to help your business? How is this going to actually contribute to your profits and to your bottom line? So we put together this digital marketing plan template to help you calculate which channels you should be investing in and what kind of returns on investment you can expect from your digital marketing strategy. So uh, to get started with your digital marketing plan, just head over to codedesign.org backslash free digital marketing plan. Once you're here, you can just submit your full name and business email. Tick the opt-in box and press send. So once you submit this form, you should have a copy of the digital marketing plan template waiting for you in your inbox. Uh, if you don't see the success message or if you have any problems downloading the template, you can send me a message in the chat here and I will help you out with this step. So once you've downloaded the digital marketing plan template, um, go ahead and open it up in Excel or Google Sheets. Okay, so here we have the latest version of the digital marketing plan template. And the template consists of four tabs. So on the first tab, you have the input metrics. Here is where you're going to insert all of the, the information that's specific to your business. And then on the second tab, you have the summary results. So this is basically um, the P&L profit and loss high level results. On the third tab, you have a detailed breakdown of the media mix based on what you put in the input metrics. So what are the different traffic channels and how much do they contribute to the overall results? And then on the fourth tab, you have a detailed breakdown of the, the business metrics, the profit and loss metrics. So here's how you can go ahead and get started using this template. So return to the first tab, the input metrics tab, and start answering these questions, putting your answers in these fields here in yellow. So the first batch of questions is related to your products and services. What is your average shopping cart? So you can find this uh, information by looking at your e-commerce or analytics data. What is the margin to consider? If you don't know your average uh, margin on each one of your products, I recommend keeping this at 100% and then that will make the rest of these calculations assuming that 100% of the product revenue is pure profit. And the third question, monthly media budget. So how much do you have to invest in paid media? If you haven't established this number already, you can play around um, with the value that you put here and see how it affects your final results. Question four asks you to rank these different paid media channels by order of importance. So let's say that Google Ads is a critical acquisition channel for your brand. You're going to want to give this more weight than say Bing Ads. The total amount should add up to 10. If you're not sure which are the different paid media channels you should be focusing on, feel free to contact us and we can help you establish a good paid media mix for your business. The next batch of questions also examines closely the different digital marketing channels, both paid and non-paid. So questions five and six, what is your average CPC or cost per click on Google and Facebook ads, two of the biggest online advertising platforms? If you are not sure what your average CPC is, feel free to get in touch with us. We can help you with some keyword research and determining what is an expected average cost per click for your ad campaigns. We also have some really helpful resources available on our blog that can offer you some benchmark data to use as a placeholder for this number until you know what is your brand's cost per click. The next questions are related to the non-paid media channels. So what can you expect from your organic traffic, your email marketing traffic, your affiliate marketing, and your existing customer base? How do these channels contribute to your total number of sales? If you're not sure what the answer is to these questions, 
I recommend keeping the numbers quite low. So keeping something between five and 10% because it's always better to underestimate than to overestimate your results. The last batch of questions is related specifically to the e-commerce platform itself. So if you're planning on creating a new website or creating a new e-commerce store, how much is this going to cost you? Uh, what is the depreciation time for that website? So this is usually around two years. Um, if you don't plan on having any maintenance to your website or if you think that it's gonna last a lot longer or perhaps a bit shorter, you can change this number here. The next question is about the percentage of transaction fees. So what percentage of the sale is going towards your e-commerce platform or your payment gateway? And question number 14, how much are you paying for hosting and SSL? So these are the fixed costs related to having an e-commerce website. Once you finish answering these questions, go to the P&L answer tab to find your custom business metrics. If you have any questions on how to interpret these metrics, or how to implement this digital marketing plan that you've just created, please contact us at contact at codesign.org. Otherwise, we wish you the best of luck with your digital marketing strategy.